I came across this audio recorded clip from Nam Dekanu, dated back since 2015. And I was so shocked that all he said back then about the election and about the damnable Republic of Nigeria is all that is happening now. I concluded that indeed Nam Dekanu is a prophet. Please listen to this audio and you will be shocked you did. Just listen. We are talking about this zoological republic. Their next leader, because the deal I was made with Europa is that after Buhari, Tinubu will go in as the president of the zoo. That was the deal with the court. That was why they put in uh, 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 Susi Panjo as the vice president. Some of you don't know this, but of course we know. That was the deal with the court that brought um, 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 uh, AD. Uh, is it AC? I don't know what their name is. It AD or AC? And the Europa Party and the Awasa Party of Congress for CCP or whatever it's called together to form APC. That was the deal. Uh, Obasanjo will, will rule after Obasanjo, Yaradua, after Yaradua, and then he comes back again to another Europa man. But unfortunately for them, there was Jonathan somewhere in the back door listening. Then, uh, death came, Yaradua died. A gentleman, I must say, although he ordered the troops to go into the Afro to go and kill people in the land. And then um, here we are today. The power has gone back to our South Fulani Islamic Boko Haram. And um, of course, he's coming back to Tinubu next. Some of you don't know, do you? But we are, we are telling you in advance. We are telling you eight years in advance so that you prepare for it. <laughs> but there is so much pressure coming right now, even from white commentators that he cannot survive it. The pressure is now mounting on the kleptomaniac, the chief looter of them all, the granddaddy of treasury looters in the zoo, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Yoruba man, Yoruba. The only nation has carried this with you, you ship rule, not nonsense. You know, if you put um, an Uber man there, he will steal 100 million. Yoruba will put billion in, in hard coins. But that was if the zoo is not performing well, it is one of the prime reasons. If you count Babangida, the next person you will mention is Bola Ahmed Timumbu of Yoruba land, Yoruba man. Mind you, not original Yoruba. They came from Sierra Leone and Liberia as free slaves in America. There is a, an issue for another day. The same way that um, uh, Sanusi Lamido, Sanusi Lamido, Sanusi is from the Niger Republic. Are you aware of that? No, you don't know. That's why he has a house in Miami till tomorrow morning. If he wants to go on holiday, he goes to, to the Niger Republic. Niger to you and I, because we are English products, we are colonized by the English. The zoo's next leader ties to a heroin ring. Even white people understand that they cut a deal between. Yoruba and Awasa people to share the power amongst themselves. After Buhari, then uh, uh, Timumbu will go. Everything we've been telling you about Timumbu is here now. My they have gone to work on Timumbu. They have gone to work for him. And as we told you, eventually, eventually everything we say comes to pass, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, everything we tell you comes to pass. This is Radio Biafra. We don't lie. What for? <laughs> what are we can address it for? We told you, Tinubu is a European man, is a thief. He never believes us, did you? Now a white man has given it the white treatment. And we'll reveal all to you. Later, we continue to do our work. Because Chuku Abiyama is with us. Chuku Abiyama is with us. All the way, all the way. Till we get Biafra and beyond. Till we get Biafra and beyond. We have a very special report this evening. We brought it to you before last year, actually, when we made it clear to the whole world about Tinubu's multiple bank accounts all over the world and the fact that Tinubu is actually a convicted drug dealer. <laughs> He's a national leader. <laughs> Only in the damnable, the zoological republic itself. Now let's bring you this news. I love this news, honestly. I, it's as if I'm saving it. I'm just nursing it because it's so rich and self-explanatory. To let you understand that if you see Tinubu, if you speak at him, you won't be out of place. The man will use the A petty thief. 
he is the power broker deciding who will be the speaker of the house and because he's a thief he will always appoint a thief as the speaker of the house and um senate president so the uh, their little clique of um vagabonds and criminals can continue you know in the zoo called nigeria if you're not a criminal you cannot aspire for high office if you want the only you don't need certificates to qualify the only uh, qualification you need is can you commit murder can you steal can you forge can you lie can you falsify you can answer all is hey, hey, a good politician now they don't need good people if you want to be a politician in this zoological republic which is why we are fighting for our biafra tooth and nail is you must be a, the only place where to be a criminal is a badge of honor you will succeed in the politics of the of the place it's only in the zoological republic of in, in, in a zoo full of animals and and i can't begin to to even fathom how these people managed to even to be allowed to attend world events if i'm at the un you say you're a nigerian delegate now i will lock you out i won't allow you to attend any meeting you people are not human beings you are not human beings i said we we'll continue. General, that is the terrorist elect. General Muhammad Buhari's political partner is a former bad man for two heroin traffickers. But that is just business as usual in Nigeria. This is a white man writing, telling you that the whole world knows that every Nigerian is a criminal. The whole world they're saying it's business as usual. In other words, when Americans are saying it is business as usual, it means that they themselves know that you if you're not stealing when you are in high office it means you have not started now